Got your dozy no wink. Well, I got a nice position for him, Coach Prime. That's right. The comparison I come up with is Elvis Doomerville, who played with the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens. He was 260 and played D in at 5'11", 260 pounds. Now, as I watch his film, right, yes, I did see some of his highlights at Houston. He played 25 games, and I believe he had 25 tackles. I mean, he played 10 games and had 25 tackles in one sack. And what I saw, I didn't like. I blame that on coaching. I blame that on bad coaching because they didn't know where to put him. You put this guy right here at defensive end. That's where you want to get him his most production at because of his height. He's 5'11", 295 pounds, and he does have initial burst and quickness, right? So he's 5'11", 295 pounds. This is a great chance for uh, Robert Livingston and the defense because Warren Sapp's going to get there. You know who he got a little bit of uh, Warren Sapp when he played uh, with the Raiders, but he's like a younger version of that Warren Sapp because Warren Sapp did play some edge with the Raiders. And that's what he reminds me of On because Doomerville was a great uh, perennial pass rusher. He was small and he was quick. Now that the game has changed and you got tackles, 6'8", 360, 350, 6'7", 6'6", six, six, the best of the best, 6'5", 325. It's going to be a rough night for them trying to block uh, Chadizo and the Wankwo because he can get so low to the ground. He has, I seen him move on here that was so nice that he got low so fast off that and then he exploded off his off his thigh. He exploded. He, he is so nice uh off the edge it makes no sense yeah he i can see him do great things in the nfl uh as a defensive end for sure that's why i like him at uh i the offense the center and bowl games especially in the big bowl games uh no i wouldn't have him at defensive tackle personally i'll put him in the game like per, like, he could be a pass special rustlers, uh, specialist, a pass rush specialist for sure. And uh, this defense, because we got a we got some big defense alignment, but they're gonna have to get penetration for sure. Also, I wanted to take note and leave this note right here in this. I'm not gonna do a a, a player's college tape when there isn't a lot of footage to get out of him. I'm not. I got to look at him when he had his most production, not a couple of snaps and highlights because there are no highlights. I don't have the game film. I can't get to it. The man didn't send it to me. So don't shoot the message. To, Come on, bro. I'm just trying to piece this knowledge. All right. So like I was saying, put him on the edge. I like everything. I see the quick first step off the edge. I mean, and yeah, it's quick first step. Yeah, nice. I wish I could have seen him at edge more in this film. Everything I like, this is against little high school kids. But the thing, the thing about it is, he could have been done more damage. I think on the edge, edge rusher. But high school, that's good money though. That's good money. But I think with Warren Sapp, you put him on the um, you gotta put him on the edge and let him rush. He's a modern day Elvis Doomerville for sure. All day, I like everything I see out of his film, but he's in the wrong position in college. I wouldn't play him in the middle. I send him on the pass rush when they tie it and bowl to the altitude, wear him out. Go get him. <laughs> Doomerville around the corner on him. He can get a sack of game because he because he got because uh, he has this uh, distinct advantage. Of being so low to the ground on tackles. He'll wear them out. They'll be tired of bending all day, chasing them around. Like, man, somebody else come block this little dude. I'm tired of blocking this little ass. Get somebody in here. He'll tire them out. Yeah, especially at the waist, the low waist. He can get low down on 
uh offensive lineman's waist. Easily use a uh NBA hook move and hit him. Get the get the get his forearm to his armpit on the uh, waist of a offensive uh, tackle. Hit him with a hook, hold him with a hook, or not a hold him, but spin him with a hook move all day long because he's so low. He can instantly get beat uh, off the tackles. Don't come high, go at their waistline because he's short. Move him by the waist, get his legs off balance. He'll be a problem on the edge. Yeah, for late game situations, a designated pass rush. See, that was, that's the move right there. You seen it. He swum up on him. That was nice. That was real nice. Hold on. I got to go back to that. That was nice. Let's see where that play was at. Let me get back to that. That was super nice. Let's see. Where is it at? I think it's right here. With, no, it's not. Let's see something. Mm -mm. This might be a here. I got to back up. I want to see. want y'all to see what I saw. Let's see. Is this the play? I don't know, y'all. We might don't get to it. I ain't going to sit here and do a soliloquy. If I can't find it, I can't find it. That was a good play. Push him back. But it was a move he made. It was so distinctive. It was nice. And that's why I seen the explosion where he can uh, excel at. Mike can't find it, folks. Nah, he's gone. I can't find it. But like I was saying, He's explosive. He's a dominating presence. For sure. Man. Look at him. I like him on the edge for sure. For sure. See, Duverville, a lot of people don't know, but Duverville played a little bit of tackle in uh, a little bit of tackle with Baltimore. Oh. Uh oh, let me see something. Let me see something. Okay, guess what? Mike all stop. <laughs> He's gonna be beast in goal line situations. For real. So I like that too. That was a sneak one I wanted to throw at y'all. Yeah. I would I wouldn't dare do that though, honestly. Take a take a play. I'll take like five plays out of a play and do a full breakdown of every movement of that play. And really all you got was two plays one game, two plays another game, and then one play play the next game. And I gave you a long soliloquy of basically five plays and really showing you nothing. I'm not gonna do that to my viewer. So I'm going to give you something and, and give you my guesstimation of what maybe Warren Sapp could do with this guy and what position he belongs in. Because I would like to see him at the DN. He's nice. He's real nice at the DN. I like him a lot. Bring him at the DN, he's a problem. But at tackle, that's, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to keep it 100. I, I, I like this gameplay a lot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're new. And I am out.